Hey guys, it's Elena. Welcome or welcome back. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Whether you're new or you're a returning friend. My cat is here. Our couch is literally destroyed because of our cat. Today I'm feeling really good. I haven't felt really good in a really really long time I have been very cooped up in Every single way in my life and I feel like the part of myself that was creative and expressive and like allowed myself to take space I felt like I didn't have the energy to do it. I feel like I didn't have the mental capacity or confidence to insert myself that way and be a little bit more optimistic on things going right for me. There's just been so many things that happened in the last two years of my life that deeply affected my mental health. I feel like it was just like the craziest two years of my literal entire life. Honestly, it was a lot and I feel so free recently. Like the past two days, I'm just really happy that I'm able to kind of break out of like my old negative patterns that just like weren't serving me, mentality that just wasn't serving me, just like pessimism. Honestly, I hope you're doing well too. I wanna show you guys my room. It's an absolute mess right now. Also, my house is kind of a mess right now too. Everybody's just really busy lately. Like everyone I live with, my siblings and my mom. My mom is a psychiatrist. She's an adult psychiatrist, so she's been doing that for years and her story is really amazing. I'd really love to tell you guys how we even got to America. Like I'm from the Philippines. Our lifestyle in the Philippines is so different from how our life is here in America. So this is the current state of my room. Um, it's never usually, hello, it's never usually this messy, like I feel like I'm gonna flash you with like a random tampon on the floor, but it's fine. Most of us I think are women here, or girls, and like there's just a bunch of laundry on the floor, these are actually clean. There's this poster thing that's just hanging out right here. I had to take this downstairs because I don't know if I really want this in my room anymore, but I picked it up from the side of the road. I don't know if it was like decoration outside someone's like apartment building or something, but I did take it. I really have to clean my room because it's bothering me and my room is just like not meant to be this messy. clean. It feels so nice. Hey! I haven't eaten anything for breakfast. I usually have a latte. F not first thing in the morning because I don't even like to put anything in my body first thing in the morning. I don't think my body can take it, like it's just waking up. We've all seen the TikTok dish, if you are on TikTok, where the girl makes like rice and then tuna. I'm gonna put a little twist to that dish and like add a fried egg. I'm a huge fan of like a good crispy fried egg. So I'm gonna show you how I make mine. <laughs> I mean, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing meal, but it's so good. It's definitely a comfort food for me. Uh, when people, when guests and relatives came home, I used to mimic them. Uh, I'm 
so sleepy right now. Still. Oh my gosh. While I'm doing the laundry, I'd really like to talk about friendships. I actually had a huge, huge realization. It's a lesson that I've been repeatedly learning because I haven't made the right changes in order for me to avoid these certain emotions that stem from the same issue. And that issue is isolation, loneliness, lack of human interaction. Even though I have a strong, strong friendship, my best friend and I, we FaceTime almost every single day. I love her, but she's not here. And so I don't really have friends. My other friend also lives in the Netherlands. It just sucks because I don't have friends in my town. It's been really affecting my mental health in a very poor way because Everything that I do is very isolating. Like I have my acquaintances, even the people that I have right now that I call my friends, like our relationship is still developing. My jobs are very isolating. I finally decided to put my foot down and take action into not feeling so lonely anymore. So recently I've just been trying to get myself in a more social environment. I took a, another part-time job, so that'd be like my third job, which I just received good news. I just got hired from them. So I think the environment is perfect because it's more social. It would literally just be nice to have one friend to do cool friend stuff with. I'm so lucky to be able to have my sisters in my life. I feel like they really are like my best friends and I'm so lucky to have that, including my mom. Okay, so tonight is gonna be so fun for me because I booked myself a movie ticket and I honestly like doing things by myself. I really do, even though I literally just talked about me feeling lonely all the time. <laughs> I'm obsessed with a movie, Spirited Away, and I'm also obsessed with Princess Mononoke. If you don't know what that is, it's a Studio Ghibli production animation movie by Miyazaki. I hope all the information I just relayed about that is correct. If I'm not, correct me in the comments down below. And they are showing one of the movies that I haven't seen of his, which is Howl's Moving Castle. It's a dubbed version and I'm really excited because I love going to the movies and I honestly don't really know anyone else that's really into Studio Ghibli movies. I want to watch all of his movies. I think there's probably like 20 films that he's done maybe i could be wrong and i've only literally watched two but that's what i'm going to be doing tonight is i'm going to go to the movies by myself at 7 p.m Doing something different Your name's been on my tongue My cup's been looking fuller You're picking by my walls and babe. Fit check Okay, so I honestly didn't really do much I just threw on this super cool beanie hat thing It's like leopard cheetah print It's all really cool and fuzzy And then I've just been wearing like these leggings Sports bra and like knit cardigan i feel really comfortable in it and then i just throw on this bag i mean i'm literally gonna go to the movies by myself so and then just some puma sneakers i've been trying to be more diligent in wearing perfume too so this is from skylar i honestly don't know if i needed that much but honestly i'm really happy with a cute comfy outfit i hope i'm not too cold i brought my glasses in here as well because i recently have been struggling seeing clearly at night. I'm excited! Ah, let's go! like random corner of the mall that like nobody's really at right now but I wanted to show you guys what I got I really just went to Nordstrom real quick before the movies and honestly I think I'm literally going to 
be late. But anyway, I was so excited because I got these sneakers. These are sold out everywhere. My sister got hers for like $120. I'm really excited because I got these for like $50 at Nordstrom and it was the only one there. Even like the men's sizes, like it's the only shoe there that is this. I'm so excited. Like look how nice they are. Like what? That's it, that's all, but I'm so happy with my buy.